There are a couple of ways to install modules on a site when you're using Pantheon. If you're already using an FTP client like Cyberduck or FileZilla, you can enable SFTP for your site on the Pantheon dashboard. Once that's completed, you can go to Connection Info to get your information on how to connect. I'll go ahead and add this and do that now. I'm using Cyberduck, but it'll work the same in anything. Enter the server name there. You'll notice the port is 2222. Don't need to change that. Username is right here. Copy that, paste it. And make sure you choose SFTP. And that changed my port, so we change that back to 2222. All right, that should be good. And I'll go ahead and try to connect. I'm going to ask for your password. Enter your password that you use to log into Pantheon. And then the, all of the Drupal code is stored in this code folder. So this is what you would see when you install Drupal on a regular site. The rest of this is Pantheon specific information and you don't need to deal with that. Just go into the code folder. And in Drupal 7, we install modules that do sites, all modules, and personally, I go ahead and create a folder for contributed modules called contrib. So let's say we want to install the real name module. On the project page, you can scroll down and find the downloads. I'll download this tar.gz version of the module and open that up. And there's the module. So I'll go ahead and just drag and drop this into the modules folder. Once it's there, we can go ahead and go back to our site, go to the modules page, and we'll see the real name module is there under other. You'll also see that this requires the token module and that that's missing. So let's see the other way that we can install modules using the token module. I'm gonna go back to git mode after I commit this. So we'll say installed the real name module and then go ahead and click commit. This is basically like saving the state of the code. So now on the commit log, we'll see that we installed the real name module. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the git connection mode. And once that's done, I'm gonna copy this here. And head over to my terminal. All right, move into my temporary folder. And I'm gonna do a git clone and then paste what I just copied. Now, if this doesn't work, you may need to come over to your Pantheon dashboard and add your SSH keys. I've already done that, so mine's working just fine right now. Uh, but keep in mind, you might need to do that. And once the clone is done, we can see that in the finder. Let's go to websites right here. So here's our site. If we go into the sites, all modules folder, you'll see there's that contrib folder we just created and the real name module. So we've just cloned the repository of our code to our local machine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use Drush to download token. And when you're downloading modules with Drush, all you need to know is this last part of the URL, which is the project name. These will always be lowercase, and some will have underscores, so you just need to know what it is here. I'll go ahead and copy that and type Drush DL token. 
You could also download this the same way I did with the real name module and go ahead and just place it into this contrib folder. Oops. I just downloaded it to my uh, folder here instead. So first, let's change directories into the test view site. Okay, well, let's try that again. Just DL token. Now I'm gonna head to our site, into the sites, all modules, contrib folder, we'll see token. All right, now with git, I can do a git status to see what's different. And you'll see that there are untracked files in the sites all modules contrib token folder. So we'll go ahead and add those with git add sites all modules contrib token. We'll do another git status. You'll see that those are ready to be committed. So I'll do git commit dash m to leave a message. Say installed token module. And once again, do a git status. And we'll see that we're ahead of the branch origin master by one commit. So I'll do a git push origin master. If we head back over to our Pantheon dashboard, you can see it's already refreshing. And then it now sees that we've installed the token module. So on our website, if we refresh the modules page, you can see we have real name and token. You can enable both of those and we'll be ready to start using them. Now we can go to configuration, real name, and configure that here. So that's how you install modules using either Git or SFTP with Pantheon.